Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use target disk mode. Now, if you don't know what that is, uh, basically that lets you see your computer on another computer as, a, as basically the same thing as an external hard drive or a USB stick. Or you'll just show up on the, the, the computer will just show up on the desktop, and you can click and drag files and eject the computer and do whatever you want with it. It's a, this is a great way to back up data, move data from one way to another. Now to do this, you need three things. Okay, you need both computers you want to do this to. The computer you want to see it on, the computer you want to um, be the flash drive. And you'll need um, a firewire to connect them both. If you don't know where to get a firewire, you can get one at the Apple Store or on eBay or wherever you want. A great, the great thing about firewire is it's the fastest way to transfer data. With FireWire, you can transfer data at about 800 megabytes per second. And if you don't know how fast that is, that's like really fast. That's like one gig every second. And if you want to, if you move data through like email or through iChat, you'll know how, you know how annoying it is to wait a long time. So you don't have to wait at all with this. You can back up your whole computer in a couple seconds. So here you go. First thing you want to do is connect both computers with the FireWire. So I'm just going to connect it to this to my iMac. Hold on one sec. There's a lot of wires plugged in here. Okay. And now, you're going to plug it into your other computer, in this case my MacBook Pro. There we go. Now, next step is to reboot um, the computer that you want this to happen to, that you want to appear. Like, in this case, it's going to appear right there. So I'm going to zoom in to where it's going to appear. Okay. So I'm just going to click restart and also I'm gonna hold the T button T stands for target disk mode target disk mode is basically the name of this method of transferring data now as you can see my iMac is restarting and um, in a couple seconds you'll see or um, maybe even a couple maybe up to a minute it's gonna um, load the computer with the firewire symbol now, also, wh when you reboot a computer, you have several options of things you can hold, keys you can press, that many people don't know. Um, you can do single user mode, target disk mode, safe mode, and many other things. So, um, as you can see, it's loaded and made the sound. It's not going to load the Apple sign. It's just going to instead load the Firewire symbol, and as you can see, Macintosh HD loaded there. So, if I just open this up, this is basically my computer, my iMac, and I can just go into users, John, and th these are all my folders. I can go into my like desktop and do whatever I want. Now, okay, now that when you're done, what you're going to do is eject this. It is very important to eject this, otherwise you can mess up your computer. There are three ways to eject it. Or three popular ways. Number one is to click this and press Apple E after Apple eject or command E. The other way is to open a finder window and you'll see it right there. You can just click eject. And third way, which is the most popular way, is you can just click it and drag it to the trash can. As you can see, the trash can will have an eject symbol and you can just click eject. Now when it is ejected, you can unplug this, hopefully it won't take as long to unplug as it took to plug in, there we go, and you can, I'll get this out of the way, just turn this back off and then back on again, holding the power button, sweet.
and it should reboot normally. As you can see, it's gonna have the Apple sign in a couple seconds, and now it'll log into my account, which I have it set to log into. Now, why is it okay? Why is it important to eject? Because when you have a USB stick, if you don't eject it, the USB stick will get messed up. It's the same thing with a computer. The only thing is a computer is more powerful and more important. So I'd, I'd rather mess up a USB stick that you can place for $10 than a computer that will cost several thousand. So there you go. Now it's back into my account. Whatever is set to open is going to open. I can just get out of those. And um, hope this helped. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, just feel free to comment us. And we, we love um, helping you out. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.